Hi, my name is Bethany Rouse, and here at the Greensboro Science Center, I am the quarantine aquarist, but I also get to be a part of our blotched river ray team. So behind me, I have the mom of our blotched river rays. Uh, her name is Papaya. She came to us from Georgia Aquarium. Um, and then on our exhibit, if you are here, you'll see the dad, his name is Hodor. And also behind me, I have our two newest pups. They are yet unnamed, but we are still in the early stages with them. They are about a month old. Within the last year, we were one of only a few AZA facilities to have a successful white blotched river ray bird. So once we suspected that she may be pregnant, we did take her off exhibit and we put her in the holding tank behind me. During that time of her being in holding, we did do routine ultrasounds. This was just not only to monitor the health of the pups, but also to monitor the health of mom, and also to give us a better idea of how many pups we may be expecting. First ultrasound we did, we weren't quite sure exactly what we were seeing. Things were still very early, um, so we just continued uh, moving forward, we were like, let's try and do this at least once a week for a month and see if we do see progression. And then if we don't, we'll kind of evaluate from there. And so by the second or third, we were pretty, pretty positive that there may have been a successful uh, pup in there. So we did continue to keep mom in holding and then we did continue forward with weekly ultrasound checks. Um, and so by that third to fourth ultrasound, we were actually able to see tail movement and movement within mom. So we knew we at least had one pup and we got very excited. So as we moved forward, we were definitely sure that it was two. So we tried to just keep her in her environment that she was living in. We didn't want to stress her out even more. Um, so we did have a clear bag that we put between two bins. The bins were to help give us support uh, because the water in that bag, it was very heavy. Um, but the clear bag gave us a way for us to actually ultrasound her with actually having to be um, either on top of her with the ultrasound or directly underneath her. Uh, so it was kind of that protective barrier, not just for her, but for us, because um, we didn't want to add stress again. And we also wanted to be very careful. Um, so you will see that we have like bite guards on, we have gloves on. Um, because she is a venomous animal, she actually has two barbs on her tail. Uh, so we wanted to be careful at all times just in case something spooked her, a noise, a sound, like a light, just we're trying to be as cautious as possible. Um, so there are times in the beginning when we tried to do everything on the dry side. So you'll see like the aquarium team on the dry side, you'll see the vet team on the dry side. It just made things harder to see with all of us being on the dry side. So as we kind of move forward with all of this ultrasounding, uh, we actually got the vet in the water and so she was able to get a more direct angle underneath and a better visual overall being that much closer to her. It was also easier for our team to be on one side and the vet team to be on the other. So after finding the pups, we did separate them from mom. Uh, we did this for a couple of reasons. We just wanted to make sure there was no unwanted aggression. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that there wasn't out competing for food. Um, mom does get bigger pieces, but when food is introduced near an animal, there's always the opportunity for competition with food. So day one with pups, not only separating them from mom was on our list, but also taking morphometrics overall. So we did get like a disc length, a total length. Um, we also took representation photos of them. They look so similar with all of their spots, but just like penguins, their spots are actually a way to identify them. So we took photos from the top and so we can kind of like figure out patterns to identify the two. So along with morphometrics, we also got weights. It's a really good starting point to know uh, their weight in the beginning and then also to just monitor weight fluctuation overall. So the next time you're out here at the Greensboro Science Center, you may see that our pups are still in their observation tank or you may see that they are on exhibit or you may even see that Papaya has been moved to exhibit and Hodor has been moved to holding. We do have to keep mom and dad separate since we did have two successful pups this year.